let's continue from where we have stopped uh, so so far we have managed to discuss uh, the activity 1 and activity 2 of the solver now we are going to have a look at an exam type question so when come to your examination so uh, you will be tested on this solver and uh, the question what we are going to discuss is particularly important so it is going to be your exam type question so if you can manage a question of this nature then you are pretty okay when you come to your final examination right okay let's see the question says that the dress fox plc a company specialized in men's clothing manufactures t-shirts in three sizes small medium and large the details are as follows you are given the details as usual uh, the material cost are given the direct labor cost the variable overhead cost the selling price and the maximum demand so it is quite similar to the question what we had discussed apart from that you are given information on the fixed cost in this question fixed cost involved and it is rupees 1 million for the period what you consider the t-shirts are made from linen material the purchase manager purchase manager advises you that because of the shortage in supply the material supply is limited to 12,000 12, meters per annum. So it is uh, these t-shirts are manufactured from uh, the linen material and uh, <clears throat> it is limited in supply so therefore the purchase manager has informed you that in maximum you can get 12,000 meters per annum. The human resource manager has informed the maximum labor supply will be 10,000 hours per annum as the skilled labor take years to train and are difficult to recruit. So because of the limitation in the labor, so you have only 10,000 labor hours available for per annum. The sales manager has already accepted an order for 300 small, 200 medium and 400 large t-shirt which if not supplied would harm the long-term business relationship. So in this question, there it involves a kind of minimum supply. So when you are going to decide your product mix, you need to make sure that in small, medium and large t-shirt, you have to provide 300, 200 and 400 respectively. The production plan should only be consist of completed unit so that is in the sense your product mix must be integer so it is quite similar to what we had discussed earlier. so therefore it, this is quite manageable and when you look at the requirement we will see what is the requirement thereafter so it is to determine the optimum production plan to maximize the profit per annum you need to maximize the profit then what is the optimum production plan so that's what the question is about right as usual let's copy this information <clears throat> and you may get that to an excel sheet initially so these are the given information in fact that is going to be your inputs and the metric the mark inputs together with me profit taken fixed cost taken the other one fixed cost taken up with the other fixed cost in this question the fixed cost is going to be roughly <coughs> bigger fixed cost taken rupees 1 million 1 million fixed cost you may get that right so it is 1 million fixed cost and uh, thereafter you can identify the profit as well profit so that is your objective so therefore let me identify that with the highlighted color and uh, most importantly you need to know the production plan your production plan production plan as well <clears throat> so 
so at the moment let me just assume a particular production plan no? so you have to initially put some figures over there maybe 200 units 500 units and 800 units or something I may put them there then uh, here also you can work out the contribution per unit contribution per unit per unit you can work that out easily because you are given uh, the selling price and the variable cost that it involves here we have the material cost direct labor and variable overhead so you can if you deduct this cost <coughs> from uh, the selling price you would be getting the contribution for unit so the selling price is there you need to deduct the variable overhead direct labor hours and material cost so then per unit the contribution per unit you are getting that that particular information is also required now you can uh, work out the profit so how much is your profit you can apply the sum product sorry you can apply the sum product <coughs> you can get the contribution per unit multiplied by production plan so it gives you currently 84,000 so this is what you are going to figure out what is your optimum production plan right okay now it's time to figure out some of the constraints constraints must be there then come to these constraints uh, as per the question there is a one constraint that is on materials materials there would be material availability no? as far as materials is concerned what is the availability availability should be <coughs> 12,000 meters per annum no? 12,000 meters then if you look at the usage usage of material <coughs> it's going to be you have to work that out you have to work it work that out so how do we work that out so we better have some space over here so we need to get those information so first you need to know in order to identify the material that is being used uh, per unit material requirement materials per unit no that particular information is needed material per unit material per unit you can get that uh, it says that uh, one meter of material will cost you 400 so if it takes 600 cost per unit then you know that if you divide this 600 by 400 it will show you how much would be the material per small size it takes 1.5 meters of material here it takes 2.5 and here it takes 3 meters of material. So this is what the material requirement. So then what you can do, you can take the usage as, apply the sum product, take the sum product. So you take the materials requirement per unit multiplied by the production plan. And this is it at the moment this is what you are using so if you are to get this constraint how it should be the material usage must be less than or equal no it should be less than or equal to the availability so the availability is the largest figure it is greater than no so uh, the usage must be lower than or equal. So it should be lower than or equal to the availability. So therefore the availability is the greatest thing. Then similarly for the labor there was a constraint. The question had mentioned that. When come to the labor uh, it goes like 10,000 hours per annum. 10,000 hours. That is the availability then again you need to identify the usage so how do you identify that that is labor hours per unit 
display the hours per unit. How you may get? Again, per hour it is 300. Then, small <coughs> shirt, t shirt, it takes 450 rupees. Then, that means if you divide this by 300, it shows you how much the labor hours that it, how many labor hours that it takes. And this is the labor requirement. It goes like one and half, and it is two and two and half. Again, the usage must be less than or equal to the availability. Again, you can apply this sum product. Take that <coughs> to the labor requirement and the production plan. That's it. That's it. Then what you have, the third criterion must be, third condition is, you have accepted a kind of order so which you need to supply at least 300 small 200 medium and 400 large so when you come to this it's a minimum order minimum order requirement minimum demand right minimum demand is going to be when you come to this small medium and sorry small medium and large it goes like uh, so if you are to highlight it's uh, 300 200 400 300 200 and 400 units that is the third constraint then the question says the fourth constraint it is about the production plan it should be consist of completed unit that is in the sense production plan is integer so the production plan production plan should be integer so it is integer <coughs> then the fifth criteria is there so in the question you would have seen that there was a maximum demand so therefore at any given point in time this production plan cannot exceed the maximum demand so that is the fifth one it is not explicit but it is there you need to figure that out no production plan should be less than or equal to maximum demand that is the fifth one maximum demand okay <clears throat> so now let's take check this for this criteria okay you get the profit go to the data and it is solved there. you need to do what maximize the profit by changing the production plan then you need to add the constraint let's add them one by one so the first one is your usage must be less than or equal to the availability the material usage must be less than or equal to the availability so normally must be materials requirement ticker adu ho samana window available praman ekak wada it must say labor usage ekak adu ho samana window ne availability ekak wada right constraint ekak api me patte daanne so hem welawa kama constraint ekak me patte inna onne kiyala mataka thiya ganna right Second one, copy and cut. Third criteria, the minimum requirement to copy, you know, in a coin villa of what? Anywhere, even a production plan, nicker. Some other window, ne? Window make in a minimum demand. So, the thing. Admin the hand, Mari Madamatami requirement, take a bath, fulfill current only. A thickama, a piano, material production plan, nicker, window, ne, complete unit, inside copy, integer, kila, key, up the cut, add current under, 
ಫುಲ್ವು ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಗ ತಮ್ಮ ಮೀ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಗ ಅಡು ಹೋ ಸಮಾನ ಬಿಂದೋನೆ ಅನಿವಾರ್ಯಂ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೊಯಿಂ ಬಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಈಗ ಎಕ್ಸಿ ಸಾರಿ ಸೆಲ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ಅಪ್ಪಿ ಗಣ್ಣೋ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಗ ಅಡು ಹೋ ಸಮಾನ ಬಿಂದೋನೆ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹರಿ ದೆನ್ ಅಪ್ಪಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಮೇನ್ ಅಪ್ಪಿ ತೀರ ಒಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಈಗ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಈಗ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮೈಸ್ ಕರಂದ ಕಿವ್ವ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಕರಂದ ಕಿವ್ವ ಬಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ಡಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಸ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ಡಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಅಡು ಹೋ ಸಮಾನ ವಿಂಡೋ ಅನ್ನು ಕಿವ್ವ ಬಿ ನೈನ್ ಟು ಡಿ ನೈನ್ ಏಕೆ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಇಕ್ಕಟ್ಟು ಬಡ ಅಡು ವಿಂಡೋ ಅನ್ನು ಕಿವ್ವ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಇಕ್ಕಟ್ಟು ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಸಮಾನ ವಿಂಡೋ ಅನ್ನು ಕಿವ್ವ ಸಮಾನ ವಿಂಡೋ ಅನ್ನು ಕಿಲ ಕಿವ್ವ ಇಂಟಿಜರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿಂಡೋ ಅನ್ನು ಕಿಯನೆ ಕಿವ್ವ ಈ ಬಗೆಯಿಂದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸಹ ಲೇಬರ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಕರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಈಗ ಅಪ್ಪಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಪ್ಪಿ ಕಿಯ ಮೇ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಈಗ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಕರನ್ ಕಿಯಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೇ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೇ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಸೊಲ್ವ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೀಡ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೇ ಓಕೆ ರೈಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಪ್ಪಿ ದ ಪಿನೈ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಇಕ್ಕಟ್ಟು ಅಪಿಟ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕೈವಿಲ್ಲ ತೀನೋ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಕ್ಕಟ್ಟು ಅನ್ನೋ ಇಕ್ಕಟ್ಟ ತುನ್ಸಿಯಕ್ ದೆಸಿಯಕ್ ಸಹ ಹಾರಸಿಯಕ್ ತಮ್ಮ ಹದಂಡ ಕೀಲ ತೀನ್ನಿ ನಮ್ಮ ತಪ್ಪಿ ಬೆಲೂದ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇನ್ಸ್ ವಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸೇಜ್ ಇಕ್ಕ ತೀರ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಬಹುಮ ಅಡು ಅವೈಲೇಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಕಾ ತೆಕ್ಕ ಇಕ್ಕಟ್ಟು ಅಪಿಟ ಪೊಡಿ ವೆರದ್ದಕ್ ವಿಲ ತೀನೋ ಕೊತ್ತನಕ ಹರಿ ಬಟ್ ಇತನೋ ಅಪಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇನ್ ಇಕ ವಿಧಿಯರ್ ಮೇ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ ಇಕ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇತರ ಐ ಡೂ ನೇ ಇಕ ಅಪಿ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ನೋ ಸೋ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಕಿ ಏನೆ ಕಡೆ ಆಂಡ್ ಇಕ ಇತರ ಪೊಡ್ ಅಪಿ ಲಾ ತೀನೋ ವೆನಿಸ್ ಅಪಿ ಲಾ ತೀನೋ ಅಪಿ ಏಕ ಹದಾಗಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ರೈಟ್ ಸೋ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಸಾಲ್ವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ದಟ್ ಔಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ we need to um, change this so let's take the option change now let's change that we have mentioned that this need to be equal so but uh, what we should have said that uh, it should be equal or greater than equal or greater than so that's why i believe the correct answer has not been taken ne me katte me production plan ekata samana bindama kiyala ಇವರು ಸಮಾನ ಬಿಂದು ಉನ್ನೇ ಇಕ್ಕಟ್ಟು ಬಡ ವೆಡಿಯಂ ಗಿಯತ್ ಕಮಾಕ್ ನೆಹೇನಿ ಸಮಾನ ಬಿಂದು ಗತ್ತುತ್ ಗೊಡಾಕ್ ಲೋಕು ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಕಾಕ್ ಇತರು ಏನೋ ಏಕ ಗಮು ಮೇ ವಿಧಿಯಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ದೇ ನೋ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನಾವ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಸೇ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ರನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸೇ ಸಾಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೇ ರೈಟ್ ನೌ ಸೀ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ yes that was the mistake right so likewise even in case of your examination if you find that uh, your question is uh, not giving you the desired result uh, then uh, you may see that something would have gone wrong with the constraint or something right in our case we have gone wrong with one constraint that was the minimum demand so we should have said that it must be greater than or equal the in the minimum demand so we should have said that it is greater than no equal <coughs> so that's what the situation could be so the minimum demand ekak thiyena welawa api kiyanne eka wedi ho samana wendo ne kiyala right now we have got that so now we can eliminate this uh, report 1 is need not so we may keep the report 2 years you can see that so this is it so you can see your objective so the final value is uh, 2 million 
produce 500, 1,500 and 2,000. Right? Yes, it is well below the <coughs> maximum demand. Right? So here we have achieved the whole demand, but the, in these two instances, it is below the maximum demand. Then when you come to this uh, constraint, you can see that the 12,000 is a binding one. So if you look at uh, the material, so you have used the materials to the fullest. So similarly, the labor, labor to the fullest. And when you come to this uh, minimum requirement, it says that it's not a binding one, no? Because you have produced uh, 500 units there and uh, sorry, uh, the maximum one. So when we look at that with the B15 cell, B15 and B9, you can see that these are not binding, but this is binding, no? So when come to this maximum demand criterion, so here it's not, sorry, here it's not binding, ne? Maximum demand is not binding, it's not binding, Maximum demand is not binding, Maximum demand is not binding, it's not binding, it's not binding, it's not full potential is not binding, it's not binding, not binding, not binding, but it is binding. It was my minimum requirements to guarantee, you know, the minimum requirements to get not binding a bit of a swing it to achieve the run of a long up a well about to see a few up a fancy a hadron this year to it does fancy a mother no harsh year to it does fancy a hadron and I'm a bit of question at me up a ticket fulfill the latin now maybe the writer for that me solver report ticker here we're going to pull up in the answer report to here we're going to put that pull up in the only right okay that's how we work out the question and this could be your exam type question so therefore master a question of this nature so the may have a question about from the master karate come up in the head well like exam question like up in the pool similar to this huh? right now let's go to the second application of solver so as i explained when come to the solver application you can use this for the capital budgeting decisions. For the capital budgeting decision, this can be used. Usually, organizations want to undertake projects that contribute the greatest net present value subject to limited resources. Usually, capital and labor. The Microsoft Office Excel Solver tool helps to determine the project in order to achieve a highest net present value. As I said earlier, you know, in a practical setting, uh, when you come up with the possible uh, investment opportunities, you can't implement all the possible investment opportunities. Because as a business organization, you have certain limitations. So it is the resource limitation, right? So especially when it comes to the money, you don't have uh, unlimited money, right? So there is a limit on the money that is available for the business organization. So therefore, there's a capital limitation. Similarly, sometimes you may be having adequate money with you, but you do not have adequate labor with you. You don't have enough employees with you. That could be another situation. So likewise, uh, because of this resource limitation, you are not in a position to accept or implement all the feasible projects. So therefore, what you would do, out of the many projects that is available to you, you are going to implement certain projects. You are going to implement certain projects which gives you the greatest net present value. So thereby, it will contribute to maximize the value of the business organization. If you are to accept all the projects that is viable and which gives you the highest, highest net present value, then you can end up 
maximizing the value of the business organization. So, if you have an Excel solver application, you can use the capital budgeting to solve the problem. So, if you have an Excel solver capital budgeting, you can use the capital budgeting. इनिशियली सर्च कर ला बाला पुहा में इनमें मंत्र की तीन ऑपरेशन्टीज़ से काफी डे पेन पुरवां अभी ये आने पुरवां विविध ऑपरेशन्टीज़ थी है अने अभी डे प्रोडक्ट्स डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स लॉन्च लॉन्च कराना पुरवां डिफरेंट एंटिटीज़ एक्वायर कराना पुरवां तो मेरे वाके विविध इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑपरेशन्टीज़ प्रधान मसाद की तरह रिसोर्स लिमिटेशंस थी अने तो डर आप इट अवेलेबल वेन लेब लिमिटेड वेन ने बोलूँगा आप इट अवेलेबल वेन मनी लिमिटेड वेन ने बोलूँगा आप इन्हों कैपिटल के ला ये तो मैं देखता हूँ प्रधान में हेतु कारण देखे ये आप इधर में तीन ना सीएलओ में प्रोजेक्ट एक्सेप्ट कराना ब खुन्देसी वाले यात्रा दिल आती है ना लिमिटेशन सुध एक है अपे व्यापारे वैल्यू वेकर मैक्सिमाइज कराने ना अपे एक्सेप्ट कराने वाले प्रोजेक्ट्स मोड़ आते कि ने का डिसाइड करी ने दी आप इधर बोलो अम्मे एक्सेल सॉल्व बाविता करा ने काफी डे मैन्युअली कराने पुरुवा अम्मे नमक एक है गुना� एक्सेल बाविता कर ला मैं एक्सेल सॉल्व बाविता कर ला बहुत मक्खेटी का आलेख तो ला आप ही इम्प्लीमेंट करने दोने प्रोजेक्ट्स मनोवाद की ना डिसीजन ने काफी डर आरा गाने फैसिलिटेट कराई मैं एक्सेल सॉल्व कराई डेट इस व्हाट द सेकंड एप्लीकेशन व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ लेट्स लुक एट दिस थ्र� for software project in near future. So, we have to plan a launch for software projects. Right? At most, four. Right? Uh, the company has identified 10 potential projects. And following is the information of NPV, cost of year 1 to 3, and labor hours required of year 1 to 3 for each project. So now we are given the information about the 10 projects, 10 viable projects, 10 feasible projects, project A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, likewise. Then also they are given, they have worked out the NPV and they are given the NPV of each of these projects as well. And also uh, the investment that it requires for each of these projects is also given. You may have to invest. In the first three years, you may have to invest. So, uh, for each of these projects, what would be the investment that it takes in the each of these years are given. And similarly, this particular project would take uh, some labor. In that particular case, there they have given the labor hours that it takes in each of the years from year one to three. Probably, this project is for three years lifetime. तो आपने में तेरा दीरा दी ना पोटेंशियल प्रोजेक्ट्स दहाया के इनफॉरमेशन तो रे में प्रोजेक्ट्स दहाया के दीला ये प्रोजेक्ट्स वाला तीने एनपीवी तोर तोरो ठीक है दीला दी ना ये देख कर ना में प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है आप इतना कराने में इन्वेस्टमेंट ठीक है अभी क्या ना कॉस्ट ठीक है दीला तो रे पाले दीला दीना लेबर ये वन टू थ्री में भी दिए थे अभी दे थोड़ा थोड़ा ठीक है दीला दीना सो इफ यू कंटिन्यू रीडिंग देन इट सेज दैट हाउवेवर ऑल टेन प्रोजेक्ट्स कैन नॉट बी अंडर टेकन ड्यू टू कैपिटल एंड लेबर कंस्ट्रेंट में प्रोजेक्ट्स दहाई मना एक्सेप्ट कराने बैरी दे मुकदर वी डोंट हैव इनफ यह थ्री वाले फर्स्ट अभी तो अवेलेबल बने मैक्सिमम कैपिटल लेकर और ना दी लती है ना कैपिटल अवेलेबिलिटी लेबर अवेलेबिलिटी का दी लती है ना फर्स्ट थ्री इयर्स देन इट आस व्हाट आर द फोर प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट शुड बी अंडरटेकन 
to maximize the total NPM. What are the four projects that should be undertaken to maximize the total net present value? In a project selling, accept current or projects the api NPV maximize current. NPV maximize current of Yanmukadda Ayatani value we can maximize current. In order to maximize the value of the business, what must be the four projects that you should accept? So that is what the question is about. Let's take that and let's work this out, right? Another interesting application of this. So let me go to a different sheet and uh, yeah, let's copy paste this information. First, let's get the information pasted. So once you uh, get used to this, this is not going to be a difficult task, right? Not going to be a difficult task. Amar Pajak Nemi, right? Once you get used to this. Right. <coughs> and also let's get the constraints as well. You are having the constraints that uh, this could be the case now. <coughs> Let's get the constraints somewhere down here. Okay. Let's get those constraints. Okay. Now what? When it comes to these projects, in maximum you can accept five projects. No, sorry, four projects. So therefore, when it comes to this accept acceptance and rejection, you need to identify that rejection, right? Accept or reject the rejection let's say reject right <coughs> so since you have 10 projects the sum of these projects may have to be accepted and while some of these projects may have to be rejected no but we do not know at the moment uh, what are the projects that we should accept in order to maximize the npv so therefore this time your objective is to maximize the net present value Net, net present value maximization that's going to be your objective and when it come to that uh, projects so out of these projects I, as I, I told you that some of these projects may be accepted so the projects what we would accept we may indicate that by one so there must be a way to do that now so we may take one to indicate the exception uh, acceptance and to indicate the rejection, we may take zero. No? But at the moment, we may just assume what are the projects that we would uh, undertake and what are the projects that we may reject. So initially, we may develop the structure. Then thereafter, we can figure out using with the help of solver, what must be the project that we should implement subject to the given constraints. Right. Uh, now, let's assume like this, uh, we accept project a, project B we are not going to, project C we may accept, D we may not, and E we may not, F we may, and G we may not, and we may not, and not, likewise. Let's say that at the moment this is what we have done. So how do you read this? You have to say the first project you would accept. Acceptance is indicated by what? Rejection is indicated by zero no then if i take the total i can take the total of the projects that i accept so at the moment <coughs> i have taken like four projects i have accepted then if i want to get the npv of these accepted projects what i can do the one way i can do is i can simply select the projects what i accept and then i can simply add them no for example, so I'm uh, accepting the project A, so therefore I could take 928. Then I would accept project C. Then I may take that. Then I would uh, accept project F. I would take that. And then I would accept project H. Right. 
है पे एक ही थी है पे मॉडल डेवलपमेंट प्रिंसिपल्स अभी वायलेट करना नहीं वेस द एफिशिएंसी को एफिशिएंसी नहीं नहीं ना मीट वड़ा हम तो भी दिया थी एंड ओने नहीं पर मुकदमे ही ताने अभी मैं वाके दिया था तो अभी मैं तीनों प्रोजेक्ट्स ठीक है एक्सेप्ट करने ठीक है ना मैं वन थी एंड अभी मैं प्रोजेक्ट्स ठीक है मल्टीप्लाई करो तो हम तो एनपीवीस ठीक है मल्टीप्लाई कर ला मैं तो ना तेरे वैल्यूज वाली मुकदमे नहीं तो प्रोजेक्ट वन ने क्या तुले टेनो प्रोजेक्ट टू एक है ना थ्री एक है ना मुकदमे नवसी आटे बिंदु में बड़ी करात बिंदु है नहीं नवसी इसी आटे की बड़ी कर पाऊं एक पाय ना ये वाकी देख करात में तें ते मैं आंसर कर में ना नहीं आपी कर ला बालम आपी सम प्रोडक्ट का कर गे ना आपी तो पुरुवान NPV ठीक है। बाला ने यहाँ से कम अपने नो तुम दास्तों से असुप है। एक मैं कम बाविता करने के लिए तावे हेतु आते हैं ना मगर आप इतने देने का अंडो होने वाला मैं एक एक आउट दूल्हे है ना टोटल कॉस्ट कर। एक एक आउट दूल्हे है ना लेबर ठीक है। तो मैं विधि रहा अभी मैं कि मल्टीप्लाई कर लगा तो तभी तो अन्य एक हाथ एक ही हेतु आप ऐ मामा में हमें मेक कर गांड की आने राय ओके हरी हम ना स्ट्रक्चर के डिवेलप कर गए ना मामा में भी तो एनपीवी तो तो मामा गए ना एनपीवी इट्स गोइंग टू बी दिस इज़ द आउटकम आउटपुट व्हाट वी एक्सपेक्ट देन व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन अप्लाई द सम प्रोडक्ट में कै so this is it and I ask you to make it constant because while you're dragging this is not going to change then you have the NPVs take this NPV column and keep it relative and say okay see it gives you the NPV then if I drag this what happens is this cost information of the projects what you're accepting the total comes here so in fact that is what we need to get done no so that we make then drag her and you have to make a mom constant girl at any so when I send me sales to give it right or mom make a drag growth method is about a hand in a while first year you could have a look accept current projects well at cost it you are giving me the end of my world second you got a dollar accept current projects well at cost it तर दी के तो हमारे एक्सेप्ट करने प्रोजेक्ट्स वाले कॉस्ट टेक किए दिखे लाइन टोटली ये वक्त में तो हमारे ले बात एक्सेप्ट करने प्रोजेक्ट्स वाले डाले ले बहुत चरक द एक्सेप्ट करने प्रोजेक्ट्स वाले डाले सेकंड ये के ले बहुत चर द एक्सेप्ट करने प्रोजेक्ट्स वाले डाले तर दी के ले बहुत चर यू नीड � so that's why in fact I have applied this now all what I have to do is I have to simply drag that then the desired results would come then what is this sorry <coughs> this piece would be the cost of cost of year one of the projects what we apply so just to verify ourselves you can do it manually so the first project we accept so therefore that particular cost is involved that particular investment is involved second project we are not but the third project yes we do project D is no project E is no but project F is accepted we may get that and then project H and that's it see it is there right <coughs> so likewise you may get that right that particular thing is needed because you need to compare that with the constraints available no? so these are the constraints the capital availability in year one two and three the labor availability year one two and three so therefore this particular kind of structure you have to get them designed so this is the first time you are exposing to this but when you are working out the next question you know how to approach a question of this nature so therefore don't panic at the moment this would be the way that you have to approach the question 
तर मैं कर ये पहले ये पारम तेरों में तू ना प्रश्न आए हैं मैं वाकी स्ट्रक्चर का कभी टाइम आ रहे हैं मैं हाथा आगांत दे रहे हैं मैं कैपिटल बजटिंग वाले टाइम आ रहे हैं क्वेश्चंस वर्क आउट करने वाले मैं वाकी स्ट्रक्चर का हाथा आगांत हो रहा है राइट सो दे आर फॉर जस्ट स्टडी दिस � and I would say that this is going to be your changing sales, isn't it? You want to change what are the projects that you would apply and what are the projects that you are not. <coughs> right. Now let's go to insert, sorry, data solver. At the moment we have uh, the information about, uh, no, fine. So the solver is available, a fresh copy has come. I thought that the previous information would be available. No, that is not. Now you have to set the things up. What is your objective? You want to maximize the NPV. So select this particular one. You want to maximize that by changing what? By changing the projects that you would accept or reject. By accepting and rejecting certain projects, you may have to finalize that decision. Then you have to apply the constraint what are the constraints the very first one you need to make sure that the cost of year one two and three should be less than or equal to the available capital no right so therefore this cost information must be less than or equal to what cost information must be less than or equal to the available capital so that is the first one then what is the second one you need to make sure that the labor the available labor in year one to three should also less than or equal to the maximum labor that is available the labor that you use must be less than or equal to the availability so that would be two most important criteria and thereafter what about this accept and reject decision you would use one and zero you would use ones and zeros no so you would only use ones and zero ones to indicate the projects that you accept the zero to indicate project that you do not accept no so therefore we call it ones and zeros in the instance where one and zero is used we call it it is binary numbers binary numbers hence this sense has to be binary you know what is integer now it is binary ones and zeros edit then the fourth constraint is in maximum or how many projects that you want to accept the question says that you want to accept at most four and you are going for the four projects because the question and then ask what are the four projects that you would apply what are the four projects that should be undertaken to maximize the total NP so therefore it tells you that you have to accept four projects so therefore this cell the total cell what I have taken should be equal to 4 that's it right say ok now you can click on this and you have applied four constraints binary 4 and less than equal and this is it and make sure that you get the simple help that's it say solve when asked for the answer report say okay so it would have been provided so this could be the projects what you would accept these are the projects that you would accept then here I have a small doubt whether these numbers have been uh, read so let me check the format yeah it is in the number format so let's look at the answer report here yeah. so this is it 
you are going to accept uh, project so these are also the original values and these are the final values you accept in the first one second one and uh, fifth one sixth one and when come to these constraints uh, yes it was very perfectly taken so four it is there <coughs> and so here we have uh, not binding constraint so 1580 and it is uh, not binding again because we have enough money even in the second year third year and when come to these uh, labor and uh, capital those are not binding constraint in this question the main binding constraint is the year the ma main binding constraint is the four projects so the question specifically says that they can only handle four projects so depending on the management time depending on the other aspects so they would say that they can in maximum accept four projects so that would be the crucial determinants so if they have the ability to go for more they have in, in fact enough money with them see in the first year they have 2500 only what they have used 920 second year the same right they have enough adequate man money even the adequate labor hours everything is there the only thing what they are lacking is the management time right management does not have the time uh, and the capacity to manage more than four projects in maximum they can handle four projects in maximum they are handle current guru and many projects hatarak tamai projects hatarak tamai handle current guru and many in an ek tamai ape constraint take a winny main any sata ma bita yan bila tini project a b b saha f per vila hari ek constraint take a lati udana api meet wada vadi projects gana kata yad now we have to do the things in accordance with the question requirement question requirement right <coughs> okay now let's uh, try out the exam type question right so your exam type question so the exam type question is not going to be a difficult one always so therefore if you can manage something of this nature that is good enough right even you would have witnessed that compared to the first two activities the third activity was quite easy the third activity was quite easy in fact that is the exam case right so similarly when come to this fifth fourth activity and the fifth activity so the fifth activity could be the exam type activity and it is going to be something easy compared to the previous ones right so we'll see so let's get the information let's get copy that information to a new sheet <coughs> there after we'll see what we're supposed to do with that We'll read the question the question says that the marketing and research division of the company has analyzed the net present values of different market segment so uh, there uh, you may be a kind of entity that would engage in uh, manufacturing uh, the garments in that uh, you have identified some potential business areas right uh, you have thought of uh, going into women t-shirts men's shirts women's skirts men's jeans and women jeans so these are some of the segments that you had identified in the market and relating to that the investment requirement is also given the woman t-shirt it takes 1.5 million investment initial investment men's shirt take 1 million women's skirt take 3 million likewise the investment that it takes for each of these uh, projects are given right and also they have worked out the net present value relating to each of these segment and each of these projects and that is also given even uh, the labor requirement for each of these projects and they have identified so if you are to implement the woman t-shirt 
you require 9000 labor hours if you are to implement the main shirt it would take 5 million sorry 5000 labor hours likewise you have identified the things right then it says the maximum investment that the company can afford is 6 million and the company could upari madaranna puluwang million hayai or me different different projects thi but me hama ekama accept karanna beha million hayai daranna puluwa and the maximum labor hours available will be 25000 hours the maximum labor hours baluwa thiyenne 25000 emana e wagem kiyana investment cannot be divided to ota meke ekko accept otherwise reject you can't accept the half of the project right for example when it comes to woman t-shirt uh, you can't say that you are going to carry out this uh, woman t-shirt division at a 50% uh, of the capacity uh, by making your investment 750,000 that is not the case either you accept that or reject so it's a matter of ones and zeros that's what it says the investment cannot be divided right okay now let's take uh, these constraints as well. We can come to the constraint. So I might take it down somewhere over here. Uh, it is the investment constraints is there. Investment maximum money that is available to you. How much? Twenty five thousand. No, twenty five thousand. So six million so six million let me take them in thousands because here we have the thousands and when it comes to the labor hours uh, yeah. <coughs> so even I can put it like this now uh, when it come to this constraints No, uh, let me take it like that. Basic investment, it's going to be six million, and labor, it's going to be how much? Twenty five thousand. So this is about the availability. Availability, and uh, again you have to have that accept reject decision because you can't accept everything. Accept reject so let's say that uh, you may think that first one accept the second one reject third one accept zero reject reject likewise so then you can uh, no need to take total here because there is no any maximum limit but you may have to work out what is the NPV of the projects that you would work out ne? what's that Again, you can do the things for all the things. What are the investment of the projects that you accept? What are the NPVs of the projects that you accept? And what is the labor hours of the projects that you accept? No? So then we may take some product. <coughs> some product. my structure. Then we have to So we may accept reject. F4 customer. It must say investment taker accept current projects or investment and maybe we get here to rapidly make a multiply will I make a relative care for 4500 and I was a meeting of the director of one accept current project or NPV acre men labor requirement then it would make it a my pay out with the company we want to maximize the NPV by changing this sales Now, either a question like a kian in a hair pit, maximum number of projects, Mokot Himagana kian in any bit of chemical from an accept current column may constrain so that they are tough. Right, that's it. Now, let's go and do the things go to the data solver. So, you can set the objective, set the objective. So, you want to maximize this maximize 
by changing what? Changing this area. You know, some of the projects you may accept, while some of the projects you may reject. Constraints. The first constraint is the investment should be less than or equal to the money that is available with you. And the labor hours that you use must be less than or equal to the available labor hours. Then you have uh, another condition because the question says that the investment cannot be divided. So therefore, this has to be binary numbers, binary numbers. That is another crucial aspect. Yeah, that's what we see, that's what it seems at the moment. Say okay. So make it simple linear relationship that you assume between the <coughs> between the independent and dependent variable so by making that you can say so keep the solve the solution and the answer say okay see depending on the given constraint you can accept three projects three projects so you can see that in that uh, the investment has become a binding constraint. You have used that to the fullest. But when it comes to the labor, that is not a binding constraint. And uh, the net NPV that you can go, 1.55 uh, million. 1,550, 1.55 million. That is the NPV that you can achieve. And the answer report is also there. You can see that. So this is it. Originally you thought of these two investments, but you may have to go by these two and the constraints and it is binding the other one is not binding that's it you know perfectly how to read that so this is going to be your exam situation probably this particular kind of question would carry five marks and uh, the question what we have discussed in activity three may carry ten marks so there are four in solver can account for like uh, 15 to 20 20 marks in case of your examination it can account for 15 to 20 marks so you need to work hard on these areas right okay with that uh, we may finish our discussion about the first two applications so that is the product mix decisions and the capital budgeting decisions right. thank you